president is Arizona Senator John McCain. All right, uh, Senator, well, welcome, by the way, Senator. More interesting than how it happened is the fact that I spent the remaining six hours of that school day pretending not to have a sprained ankle. I climbed the stairs, I walked the hallways, all with zero limp. Every step I just told my grapefruit-sized ankle to suck it up. And I kept up the gig right up until I stepped off the bus. Maybe it was a masculinity thing, I don't know, but what I did know is that I could survive some pain for a few hours. But if anyone at school knew I was in pain, well, that would be certain death by embarrassment. <laughs> it is kind of funny in hindsight. Funny and sad. Then I'm not judging my 13-year-old self. I mean, how could I when my today years old self does the same sort of pain hiding all the time except now it looks more like saying yes to overtime uh let's see matt can you be in charge of that uh yeah 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 that's fine okay great or pretending my car didn't just get towed uh yeah can i actually can i call you back when i'm when i'm in the car Okay, thanks. Or giving my dad a polite handshake instead of an honest talk. Listen, Dad. What is it, son? Um, happy Father's Day, Dad. Or not admitting that I miss, well, that there's someone I miss. But there comes a point in life you just gotta say, F you, social pressure. Yeah, today I'm not okay, and that's okay. Good even, because pain means I'm normal in the most human sense of the word. Anyway, I'm trying to get more into swearing. And then when the time comes, you teach your kids to say the same thing, F-bomb and all. Listen, son. I guess what I'm finally figuring out is that pain isn't something to be ashamed of, whether it's physical pain or missing someone. So when you sprain your ankle, it's okay to say it. What happened? Uh, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> 